Portugal scholar here, a year after the Olympic Games, where they're all sort of the scholars will see what boat is the best boat that will take them forward to Beijing here. Uh, what's the sort of the change like if you're moving out from a crew boat to a single? Well, you're moving into a slower moving boat. A single scholar is a, a, a slower moving boat. So it, it, it requires you really to use your power through the middle of the stroke. Scholars through the 1,000 metres in the final of the men's heavyweight single skulls. 1,000 down, 1,000 to go at the Bearing Point Rowing World Cup. It's the opening regatta here. I'm just going to give you a lane order. Serbia Montenegro in lane number one, Cuba in lane two, Bulgaria in three, Slovenia in four, Germany in lane number five, and the Czech Republic are in lane, was, is in lane number six. He's closest to us is Shinik from the Czech Republic. He's pretty much uh, led this race from the 10th stroke out. Marcel Packer from Germany had the better of the stars, came down to a bit of a slow rhythm, and the lead was taken on and is being taken on now in this middle thousand meters of this race by Andrzej Snick from the Czech Republic. And again, though, the conditions down, we've been uh, watching it all morning in the B finals. It, it's very difficult for these scholars out there. Well, you can see how Shinnick is really having a struggle there. The boat's rolling around. You, 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 you just can't be confident where the water is when you try to take the next stroke. So it's very, very important to feel that you've, you've got some stability in your boat. But here you can see him wobbling about, and his uh, hands are very different when they, uh, in terms of their height when they catch the water at the beginning of the stroke. Boat rolling around, very difficult conditions. And this is the best, the best lane. So you can imagine on the far lane where we're not really seeing very much of the athletes, you can imagine how uh, Stojic from uh, the uh, Serbia Montenegro, he's probably way back and you can see he's well back in the field having far, far uh, tougher skull. So now coming up, about 500 or so meters remain in this final of the men's single skull. Schnick from the Czech Republic leads and is leading comfortably and now this is pretty much becoming a procession here because of the wind and because of the lane order here and germany's marcel hacker he's to the left of the pitcher in second place comfortably so but it does look like schnick is from the czech republic here is starting to move on again dan i don't know why he's doing this because he's comfortably out look you see there now there's the silver medal position there's uh, uh, germany's marcel hacker that's a big gap to, uh, to overcome. Big gap, big gap, and it shows the huge, huge advantage that uh, the, the uh, lane six is having over the rest of the field. But he's, having, he's moved into better water now, and you can see again now his boat is much more stable. He had a quick look there to see where he is, but he's now winding it up for home in front of the crowds, big crowds, but very difficult conditions here, and a wind blowing right across the course. The conditions are not fantastic here but the sculling definitely is as we've got this opening regatta just developing and in this particular event the heavyweight single skulls andre schnick from the czech republic looking very very comfortable now olaf tufta from norway is the olympic champion entered in this event and such is the quality he could not make the final here so that's showing you the quality here we don't have a british uh, finalist either but out front Andre Schnick from the Czech Republic leading Marcel Hacker from Germany quite comfortably. And it's top chop there in lane number four. He's currently in third place. Hasn't really uh, demonstrated the speed that we expected here. We're coming now to the last 100 meters. The Czech Republic's Andre Schnick in lane at number six, the white boat. Smooth paddling up here. Germany's Marcel Hacker again, a bit of a paddle, a bit of a procession, procession as we come up to the line. And it's top chop from Slovenia in lane number four. He will take the third position. So the scholars now safely over the line. I think there'll be a little bit of relief from the uh, first three scholars and a bit of a race.